Well, good morning, my friends. Hopefully, take three is a keeper. <laughs> I've done this twice before. <laughs> Messed it up both times. So, welcome to the Needle Bug. My name is Karen. If you are new here, thank you so, so very much for dropping by and giving the channel a chance. And if you are re a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for coming back. <clears throat> and hopefully I will not be coughing. I still have not gotten over this crazy cough. What I'm here today is to tell you a little bit about, or what I'm here to do today is take the mystery out of why your fabric, your working thread slips under your fabric thread when you're stitching one over one on an even weave fabric. There's been a lot of talk about it on Facebook, what I read this morning in, I believe it was the Heaven and Earth Design Group. And everyone, a lot of people are saying, oh, it's tension, it's tension, it's tension. Well, tension does have something to do with it in the fact that that's what keeps your stitches consistent and even, but it does not prevent the thread from slipping under your fabric. There is a sequence to stitch each stitch that does prevent that. So I'm going to take the mystery out of it for you today and explain to you how to do that and why you want to do that. Understanding the why is far more important, at least I think so. So let's move over here to the camera. Now, first of all, I'm going to say this could be a little bit shaky, so my apologies right up front if it is. I'm holding a hoop in hand to keep from, so that I'm able to show you the back because that's, what, that's where the important things take place. So, Pardon the, the shakiness. I will try my very best to keep it in camera. So here we go. Okay. As you can see, I've already done some of this. <laughs> so we're just going to move out of the way. Now, what I did this time is I did put two threads. Um, the principle is the same. It doesn't matter whether you have one thread or two threads. If you are stitching over one fabric thread, this will apply whether you're stitching with one thread or two. And two, I think, makes it a little bit easier for you to see. So, first off, it does not matter whether you come up at a horizontal thread or not. It doesn't matter. Come up wherever you like to start your stitching. Does not matter. What matters is looking at, this is the intersection we're going to cross. What matters is what is the top fabric thread of that intersection doing? Is it horizontal or is it vertical? Well, in this case, it's horizontal. That you need to take note of and remember. Okay, so I stitch bottom left to upper right. Okay. Now, everyone's tendency is then to go to the bottom right and go upper left. Well, let me show you why you don't want to do that. That's when your thread is going to slip. Now, yes, if you don't put a lot of tension on it, it probably won't. However, this is why I say tension is not the important factor in this. The sequence of your stitching is, okay, if I go down here to the bottom right, look at this fabric thread, okay? 
I can pull this. If I pull too tight, it's going to slip right under. And I'm going to lose the stitch. Okay. There's nothing to keep it from not doing that. So. Let's back out of this. If I am at a horizontal thread, which is what this was, okay, that's that fabric thread is horizontal. What I want to do is come up in the top left. Okay, now let's look at that. Top left. Let's loosen this up again. Okay, let's pull this out of the way. Do you see the difference? Can you tell? This is not going to slip because your working thread goes underneath the vertical thread. It goes behind it. Therefore, when you pull it, you can pull as hard as you want. There is no way for it to go underneath this fabric thread. It can't. Because by going underneath, by going behind that vertical thread, you prevent it from slipping underneath the horizontal thread. Okay, so you can pull that all you want. It's not going to go anywhere. And then you complete your X. Okay. Now we'll go to the next one. Let's look at that. Now, because I went down here, I'm going to come up in my upper right. And that in order to cross in the same direction, that means I have to go down in my lower left. What direction is the top fabric thread? It's vertical. Okay, same thing applies. If I go over here to the bottom, there's nothing to prevent it from slipping. Same as before. It's going to slip right underneath here because there's nothing preventing it. So in order to prevent slippage, I need to go to the upper right. And then I can pull as hard as I want. It's not going to go anywhere and come down here. Okay. Now your back is not good. Well, I can't see it because I have a thread there that I'm stitching over. But your back is not going to be all straight lines. It's going to be a straight and a long, a straight and a long. Okay, but let's look at it again. Okay, here I'm coming up at, I'm coming up at a vertical, a vertical thread. Okay, I'm going down. So my thread is vertical. Therefore, when I bring my needle up, my thread on the back needs to travel vertically in order to prevent slippage. Okay, see that? It can't slip under the fabric thread because it goes behind the horizontal thread, therefore preventing it from slipping under the vertical thread. Okay. And cross it. Now let's look at the back. Okay, see there. You can see that it is now going over that vertical thread and there's no way it can go underneath. Okay, let's look at the other direction. to do a horizontal thread. 
So we're going to come up at the same place, the bottom, and we're going to split that little thread there a little bit. So okay, we're going to come up in the bottom left. We're going to go down in the top right. Same thing now. If we come up here, okay, what happens? Can it slip? Sure it can. Why can it slip? Because you have not, you're not preventing it from going underneath this because you are on top of the horizontal thread as opposed to behind it. So in order to prevent, you need to come up here. Your thread needs to travel the same direction as the top fabric thread on that intersection. And when you do that, see, it can't slip under. Okay, it can't. There's no way. Because you have gone behind this fabric thread, eliminating the ability for that thread to slip under and get lost in your fabric. Okay, so that's the mystery. That's what you need to remember to prevent your thread from slipping. Okay, now that's for people that cross their X's as they go. Over one stitching, that's what I do. I just find that to be the easiest. If you want to do the whole row, start on your right hand side and continental stitch across the row. Now you can stick and stab this. I'm just going to sew it for um, timeliness. Okay, so you see it, it can't slip because I'm going from here to here. So it's not going to slip underneath. And then when you cross, okay, I'm going to prevent it from slipping because I'm going to go behind that fabric thread. And then I can just cross it my normal way of crossing to go back. And then I, what did I do here? Caught my threads. There we go. You can just cross it normally to go back. But what that gives you is the long stitches on the back and then normal straight up and down stitches. So your thread will not slip that way either. So that's if you want to cross, go across the row and then come back and cross the X. Then you would do, like I said, a continental stitch and then just cross it on the way back. So hopefully this takes the mystery out of stitching over one on an even weave to keep your thread from slipping away and getting lost in the fabric. I hope that helps. And with that, I will see you next time. Have a great video. Have a great week. Uh, a great video. <laughs> Have a great weekend. And I will see you in the next video.